Good afternoon. Hypothetical simulated performance results have certain limitations. Unlike an actual performance record, simulated results do not represent actual trading. Also, since the trades have not been executed, the results may have under overcompensated for the impact of any of certain market factors, such as lack of liquidity. Simulated trading programs in general are also subject to the fact they're designed with the benefit of hindsight. No representations being made that any account will or is likely to achieve profit or losses similar to those shown. It is March the 7th. And we started out today with a sale in the um, E-mini at 9 to 14, and then 19 to 24. This 9 to 14 area did produce um, some selling, not a lot. We had hoped to buy below 2700 27 2705 ended up being the uh, buy zone. We were a nickel below where we should have been. Uh, all the juice was taken out of the market on that one bar right there. We had some good trading before the market opened up that we were able to participate in. Up here, we just did not have trade location. Looking at scratches or outright losses because of uh, stops at three points or less. Uh, if your stops were over three points, you had a chance in here not to stop out but to break even. Um, move, pause, move. Uh, everything said buy it above the 20 EMA. Move, pause, move said buy it. Uh, we got into our second sell zone, a B, P, B. And this was a good trade. We had an S over it. First round of profit taken was over plus. Beautiful retest failure right here. That was the trade of the day plus. This buy down here, all conditions map, make a little. No need to lose. And uh, then the market um, rolls into the uh, afternoon right here where we got great short covering. We get a move out of the middle here in the 11 area. And it's off to the races. So 25 right now. That's where the market stop. So pretty choppy day. A couple of uh, news currents uh, hit the market. Uh, didn't change anything. Lower high, lower low. Find a place to sell it based on F1. F2 is going to show you something different. Definitely a P. And we had a case split on that earlier. There's your move out of the middle. I'm guessing it's going to close two hours before the close at 11 to 12. If we get through 25, the squeeze is on. If we don't get through 25, maybe a close in the 15 area up here. There. So anyway, it's a P. This one says buy it. That tends to yield a trading range. Friday is non-farm payroll day. That tends to yield a trading range. So we'll play for a trading range overnight and probably tomorrow too without any major news. So first sells 24, 29, 34, 39, sell two based on the close here at 21. On the buy side, um, I'm going to try 6 to 11 and 96 to 01 for buy two. Tomorrow's news, jobless claims. That's it. 220. So no news to speak of tomorrow. And that also tends to give us a trading range. Okay, looking at treasuries. Higher low, higher high. It says find a place to buy it. Really don't trust that call. That move out of the middle, maybe an I period split off the top, I or J. Market closes at 120. We're trying to sell threes to sevens. 11 to 15. On the uh, buy side, uh, closes right here at 01, trying to buy 25s to 29s. 17 to 21s.
Okay, looking at the 30 year. Do a J split right there. Um, four to eight is going to be number one. Sell one, 11 to 15. Sell two, 19 to 23. On the uh, buy side, 28 to the buck is number one. 21, 25, buy one. And we'll make 9, 13, buy two. Let them get stops below the current low. Funny, um, thinking about today's activity compared to Monday or Tuesday, Monday and Tuesday, right out of the chute, we had our trades and all of the homework was working. Today, we had to wait for an hour or more to get the uh, markets going. And you'll find that market will sit there and motor sideways. You'll have institutions on both sides. The paper is placed, kind of balance each other out, and then the traders come in after about an hour and take over. So... A little bit of patience pays off, but in those days when the market chops in that first hour, we're likely to suffer some losses. Not the end of the world. Doesn't break the bank. Anything like that. Gold, higher low, higher high. F1 says you can buy it. Had a very weak close. F2, it's a sell all the way. So... Uh, I'm guessing probably uh, stops below 20 in Globex tonight. 19 to 21 by one. And 14 to 16 by two. On the uh, sell side, 26, 28, sell one. 30, 32, sell two. The beige book showed a strong economy, um, perhaps some overheating in the labor market. So all the economic news that comes out tends to be positive, not for the most part. Uh, we are in strong economic growth. And again, we've talked about this. Uh, uh, the first year of Trump was... Uh, for real, cuts in rules and regulations, and then the anticipated corporate tax cuts, and hopefully some for individuals. And the middle class got some tax cuts, and the corporations got some tax cuts. My feeling is, is that the corporate tax cuts will be every bit as large as the personal tax cuts were under Reagan for economic growth coming down the road. Trump's plan now is for people to start seeing more money in their accounts, um, starting in February, and that will uh, further support his constituents and followers and add to his uh, voting base. We will see if that happens. Lower high, lower low, and I period on crude, find a place to sell it. When we have these great big smashes on uh, inventory days like this, we tend not to get follow through the next day. We tend to get uh, consolidation. So we had a buyer uh, below 60.50 and we've had a seller above 63 and we're within, uh, within a buck, 75 ticks of uh, being down in that buy zone again. Uh, very, very heavy selling today. The spill was from 68, so 50 to 75, sell one. 62 even, 62 and a quarter, sell two. On the buy side, 60, 50, 75, buy one. 60 even, 60, 25, buy two.
finally the euro. Higher low, higher high, weak close. Um, this market uh, wants to trade higher here for reasons that escape me. Sometimes markets will do that. 25 to 35, sell 1. 45, 55, sell 2. On the uh, buy side, uh, 24 even, 90, I think that's where we were this morning, buy one. And my 24 even, 24, 10, a little bit above that. And then we had um, that high down there at 71, so 70 to 80, buy two. And we'll see if that actually happens. That does it for this March the 7th, 2018. I will see you bright and early in the morning. You all have a great evening. The wind's still blowing very strongly from the north. I'm um, going to make it to 50 today, give or take, and but windbreakers are definitely needed right here. I'm out of here.